Hope you're having a great Monday. Saturday night, the town school down with three feet of snow. There are 70 mile per hour winds. Trees were blown over, and most schools in the area were shut down. For today, possibly the rest of the week. Because of conditions, most of the power lines around the area have had no electricity or are on the ground. And people couldn't get out of their house at homes for two days. Now let's go to bed with the principal of Stuart High to see what he thinks of the giant storm. Thanks, Brock. Hi, I'm Beverly with KFC News, coming to you live for the Shudo High School, where school's been canceled due to mass amounts of snow, keeping people in their homes and off the streets. Buses sent to pick up children this morning were stuck in the bus garage due to the snowdrifts blocking the doors and making school canceled. Snow plows are set to plow the roads at 11.30 today. Buses are closed. Businesses are closed due to people not being able to leave their homes without getting stuck in the snow. In other news, the annual bake sale at the Strudel High School has been postponed due to the dangers of the road and will be held next Monday instead. The basketball game scheduled for tomorrow is canceled and will not be rescheduled. I'm here with the principal of Strudel High reporting live on one of the worst snowstorms in Strudel history. How do you feel about school being canceled tomorrow and possibly the rest of the rest of the week due to the storm? Thanks for more news, the car is blocking syrup trees, so please keep that in mind when making your way places. Back to Brock with the tips on how to stay safe in a winter emergency. Thank you, Beth. Next up, we have Sheeran with the news, and Beth is even more interviewed with people in the group. And me teaching you how to keep safe if you get stuck in a snowstorm. Hold on. We're getting breaking news of the car crash on I-90. Five people are injured and three car crashes. Two kids, three adults. We will keep you updated on the roads and other crashes in the area. In other news, other cities across South Dakota are getting impacted by the same storm we are here in Scoot. Some cities are getting more snow and terrible weather conditions while some have gotten little to nothing. Trudeau is right in the middle with three and a half feet of snow. The other cities with the most is over three, four and a half feet of snow in the last two nights. Bundle up this week, it's going to be a cold one. Now let's look at the five day forecast. Over to you, Sharon. Thank you, Brock. I'm Sharon Lukowski with KFC News. Today we'll start off with the five day forecast. Starting off with Monday, a few days after our day closure, we'll have a high of 22 degrees with a low of negative 15. The wind will blow from the east at 50 miles per hour with 50% chance of snow, and it will be sunny. Tuesday, the temperatures will decrease slightly with a high of only 17 and a low of negative 10. The winds will blow from the southeast at 20 miles per hour with 62% chance of snow, and it will be cloudy. Wednesday, the temperatures will start decreasing with a high of only 6 degrees and a low of negative 25 degrees. The wind will blow 25 miles per hour from the south with an 80% chance of snow, and blizzard conditions. Be careful driving on the slip roads. Thursday, the high will be 10 degrees and a low of negative 16 degrees, with winds at 15 miles per hour, with a 30% chance of snow and cloudy conditions. Friday, the high will be 3 degrees with a low of 12 degrees. The winds will be 12, 10 miles per hour out of the southeast with a 40% chance of snow and will be partly cloudy. The jet stream will come from the west and divide the southern part of the U.S. and the northern part of the U.S a large cold air mass in the northern part and a warm air mass in the southern. There will be a cold front coming from Canada, coming into the northern part of the U.S., as well as a warm front coming from the southern part of the U.S., going into California. Make sure that if you are planning on going outside, bundle up and keep your furry friends happy and warm. And don't forget to use safe ice melt on your, for your pets as well. Also, don't forget to winterize your car. Those slip roads and frigid temperatures can be a toll on your car. Now to Brock with tips on how to be safe on the roads. Now to you, Brock. Thanks, Sheer. So far, there have only been three more crashes on only I-90. There were no more injuries, and all the crashes were due to slippery road conditions. Now I'm going to teach you how to stay safe if you get stuck and slip off the road. The first thing you want to do is shut your car off. If you leave it running, the snow could get stuck in the exhaust pipe, and all of the exhaust could go back into the car while you are sitting. Second. Call 911 and tell them where you are at. Three, always remember to buckle up, don't get distracted while driving, and always wear a coat or warm clothes. And now let's head over to bed with the citizens of Strudel and what they think about this and what they are going to do while everything is closed. Thank you. I'm here in Central Strudel to talk to a couple going for a morning jog down the snowy streets of Strudel. Why are you running out here? Aren't you guys staring in the fall? No, it's a great time to run because it's just a perfect texture for running. The snow has very little impact on our strides, even though the weather may seem bad for some people. We just love it. Falling is just a risk we are willing to take. 
We love living on the edge. Well, okay, then enjoy your run. Thank you, boy. Thank you, Bev. Now for world news. Due to the cold weather conditions, cities all over the U.S. are dealing with snowy conditions to keep them inside trying to stay warm. Temperatures are as low as negative 24 degrees in New York and Michigan. Huge snowdrifts are blocking half the roads in Shuttle, and random ice patches are under the layers of snow. Remember, always have a warm hat, gloves, and a blanket in your car in case you get into a bad situation. Thank you, Bev. Try to stay off the roads as much as possible things like accidents and getting stuck. Enjoy your time and always come to see KFC News for your daily dose of news. That wraps up today's morning news. Have a marvelous Monday.